Hey, mate. Yeah, welcome to the group, by the way. Now, XRP and hi. Yeah, let's look at it. So, obviously, Binance is not the oldest chart for XRP. Let's go back, actually. Let's go back. We'll, we'll, we'll get a uh, bit stamp here. Is uh, a lot older. You can see it goes right back here to 2013. But personally, uh, I don't really, really like this uh, situation. Let's see here, I, I would, I would probably like this to break down. Um, you know, you, you, you can see clear as day that there is, you know, a major support area kind of just below. I would like to see stops run below here. Um, if I zoom out on this a bit. I just want to go to a yearly chart just to have a look so we can kind of see what that is uh, if we did come back down you know the somewhere down into there uh, that's a big big level just just a bit lower um, this is a yearly chart by the way it's deep red on the year we have one month left uh, so it's not really ideal to FOMO into XRP at the moment. Like you can see here, we got this large retrace. There was still another year of a downside uh, that, that, that pushed the price a bit lower in that consolidation. That was when you wanted to be buying. Um, tough to say if we're gonna get something similar. Do, do we get uh, another smaller red yearly candle uh, down? Uh, it, it is possible, but um, you know, the, the, the times when you want to be buying XRP, you can see here when the yearly flip green, uh, obviously when this year flip green or when this year flip green, they are the times you want to be buying it. There, there's no need to really FOMO here and buy XRP when it's deep down red uh, in a bear market, of course. Um, you know, it, it, the ideal situation, you know, would be, well, what, what if we can recover next year right somehow what if the fed starts printing money again what if they stop the qt what if this next year opens up and flips green well you that that's when you want to be getting long that's when there's less risk in the market you know you do want to be buying into these red years too much at least uh you don't want to be buying into the top of them buying into the bottom of them is okay for down cost averaging like for example if you had bought if you had bought in here or even in here and then you added some of your position down here you know you're going to have a decent uh, entry point of somewhere an average around there for example and you can easily make money look at these big gains you would have made um, so it's okay to down cost average uh, into something like this but you always need to be prepared to add lower because what if we get another red year to the downside uh, you know the macro is not very good at the moment the Bitcoin having is not until 2024 kind of implies that the market should bottom. Um, well, if the halving is in, in March 2024, April 2024, maybe this market will bottom in March 2023. Uh, say we bottom here, we base for a year. Uh, I know this is a yearly chart, but I'm just giving an example. We say we bottom and then we base for a year before going back up into a bull market. That's just speculation though, but uh, you know, um, I'm just saying that this may not be the low on XRP. Uh, you, you need to be prepared to uh, buy lower. The safe way, as I just mentioned, is to buy into green years, right? So that if you do that alone, that will keep you safe. Green year, green year, green year. You know, can this one be a green year also? This point right here, okay? So this this area right here, it almost looks like this area right here, right? You can see that there was pumps uh, and then we came down and stop onto the lows. Look at this little uh, place where we came down and kind of washed out the lungs and then we were allowed to recover. It almost feels like we could do the same, something like that, wash out the lungs and there's this basis and then we recover and we can move back up. There is also a very similar pattern to what Bitcoin did. Now in the larger scheme of things, we XRP has this pattern right here and you can kind of see um, depends where you really want to draw it but you know something like that um, so there's there's quite a bit of work as we said we could pump and fake out down lower I like it down here better and then we, we can work our way off there if I just type in uh, Bitcoin here I'll go to Coinbase if you remember what did Bitcoin do well Bitcoin created something very very similar let me hide these alarms just to so there's no confusion. If you remember, Bitcoin had the same pattern right here in a way. Um, 
something like that. But you can see, you know, it's when Bitcoin came into the end of the tri triangle pattern that it ended up being allowed to moon. As you can see, XRP is uh, uh, potentially doing something similar. So if you are down cost averaging, if you are uh, accumulating, be prepared to add lower, but also be prepared to wait until this breaks out. Um, it doesn't have to be just there. It, you know, there, there's an argument to be made that you could draw this trend line somewhere there. Um, but, you know, I, I think this pattern will have a big effect on XRP over the next few years. Now, for high, high is a coin that I wanted to accumulate and I didn't accumulate yet. Um, I have quite a lot of coins uh, that I'm accumulating. Um, I was going to buy a bit of high in here actually, but then I refused, or not refused, but I, I, I waited because I have a lot of uh, coins that I'm building positions in. But I do like high. High is a, a metaverse play from memory. Uh, you know, metaverse is going to be huge at some point. It's obviously they're all still in development, but at some point that hype will come back. Um, I just want to measure uh, what we're down here. So that was probably the real action. So it's down 96%. Okay, you can kind of see here 96%. That uh, it's hard to fit it all in this chart. Yeah, you can see here it's basically on all time lows here down 96% and it's actually, mm, yeah, 96. So, however, I do like this for accumulation, but you need to be prepared to add lower as well. Uh, some some of these coins like to drop 96, 97, 98%. You know, but if you had three buys, for example, uh, as, you know, very roughly, you know, one here and one here, and, you know, if you had three buys, you're, you're, you're eventually gonna have a very good low average um, you know um, bear market accumulation buy point uh, that is 97 98 percent better than all of these other people you know you will have better you will be better than all of these people because your average will be fairly low you you, you know you are you are in the leading one two or three percent of all people that will hold high for example so as long as high survives you, you are putting the odds in your favor of success and that's what we've tried to do here at crypto check you know I, I didn't accumulate any coins until they were 94 percent down roughly most of the coins protected myself throughout the bear market and then started to buy uh in this base here and, and willing to buy lower to eventually have very good averages for when this market recovers we can make big big gains so we're, we're still in the process of doing that. And I, I also like that for high. Um, no, I would need to check the market cap for it and uh, the supply of tokens. So I, I had a look here. So this, this is very good. This is very good as 12, uh, 12 million, which is very good. But this, this is bad. Um, this circulating supply you can see that there's only a tiny bit in circulation that is not very good it's not ideal it's not really what you want to see because it can keep diluting price over the years and years to come of course we only care about the next year two years three years max because that's when we hope there'll be uh, some sort of a bounce and some sort of a bull market after that is not good uh, this you probably do not want to be holding long term because this is uh, bad and they may keep diluting price so um, that's a warning sign for long long term this could eventually when they release all those tokens this could be done at one cent so uh, mm -hmm. you need to be careful but as far as accumulation you know for for bounces and for uh, you know trying to make some profits uh, it, it, it still looks pretty good it, it could do with some investigation you know how often they release their tokens and all that sort of stuff is there a plan to release the tokens are they locked up or 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 what but if you're looking to hold long term it's definitely good to investigate that as for now this is still bearish and it looks like the lows are not in it looks like this could get another flush lower so you know it's probably best to just wait have patience um and let this see if see if this can drop some more if you look at my past videos or, or uh, in the Marty Boots BTC channel, possibly. I made a few videos, I'm not sure where I posted it, but the total market cap to me looks like it's gonna go lower. If the total market cap is going lower, then most of the altcoins have not bottomed yet.